So I lied. It's actually from 2005, but 2001, 2005, whatever. It's called Shadow of the Colossus. I gave complete control to my Discord. I said, hey, yes. yeah. let me know what game I should play pre-2014. That was when the Destiny addiction started. Mm -hmm. What what games sh should I use to heal <laughs> from live service? Recover. Re Wean yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. And um, out of like 100 nominations, Shadow of the Colossus was the top voted. Never played it before. Streamed it all day for like 10 hours. Start to finish. Completed it. Life changed. These are <laughs> impressive stats. <laughs> That it won first oh. off and that you played it in a whole day. And, I mean, life-changing events, I probably would have gone along with the birth of our son, but... Uh, yeah, that's up there. That's up there. Look, look. And it's not like Zelda... Oh, God. I know I've triggered Zelda fans. Like, yeah, Zelda's good. I don't know why you even pressed that I know. button. Um, now, let me tell you the story. Okay. So, there's not much talking. He's, it's a little bit like Link in that way. He's, he's a silent protagonist. <laughs> You don't know what's going on. You see a dude carrying a body on a horse into like a temple, into this area. Okay. Um, and you're like, is that person dead? Yeah, she's dead. Princess is dead. Actually, I don't even know if it's a princess. It Making might be. It could be the sister. It could be a princess. I think there is lore that you could go and read. Like there might be like a, a, a PlayStation magazine. Sounds like the kind of thing that a law master would do. Yeah, any, if anyone knows a law master, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho, okay. You go to this temple, you place the body down, mm -hmm. a disembodied like voice talks to you and was like I'm very Zelda. Yeah, you can you can revive her if you destroy the Colossi. Okay. And the Colossi in this temple, like they're represented by these totems go out and you're you're in what's called like a forbidden land okay all the idols are standing along the wall and thou art to destroy all of them yep yep told ya told ya Oh. And you have this sword, uh, and your, your, your job is to, to destroy the Colossi to bring her back to life. I mean, at this point, it almost feels like a almost a copyright infringement. You have a magic sword. I mean, I guess loads of things have magic swords, don't they? But like, the sword that sealed the darkness feels <laughs> very similar. Oh, I know we want like engagement, but I feel like this is going down a path of... Danny talks about Zelda. No, to me, to me, triggering Zelda fat. Okay, okay, we'll dial that, dial that back a bit. Okay, I'm intrigued. I don't know if I'd say that the voice seems evil at this point. Oh just, no, that just seemed, I don't know, like generic fantasy voiceover, okay. vaguely suspicious. Okay, fair. So you get this sword, and there's no, there is a map, and but this game doesn't tell you. How to play? There's no tutorial. There's no instructions like apart that. from that this sword will light the way. And so you sort of come onto this terrace of the temple. You have to hold up to the sun, and it, it reveals like the next colossi that you should hunt down. Hey, oh, you have to travel to it. Ooh. That's the way to go. That's where to go. That was very cool. I very much appreciated that, like, slight yeah. changing of the sword and the narrowing of the light beam to show you where you can go. What's the travel options? Like, how do you get places? Of course, a le horse. <laughs> I was like, is there a glider? <laughs> I need to glide somewhere. I need to climb a mountain. No, this is uh, the Sony's version of Zelda is realistic. There's no glider. It's just you. And the horse, and the horse is going to come up in a, in a in a moment. Okay. I'm going to talk about the horse, but just the general sort of gameplay loop. You, you go from the temple, you hold your sword to the light, and you go hunting. Right? You find the colossi, and after you kill the colossi, this happens. I'm not going to show you all the puzzles because I think you're going to like this game, and I don't want to spoil it. Do I get to see some puzzling? Because I feel yeah, like I need, I'll, a, I'll, I need to taste a puzzle. Yeah, I'll show you some puzzling. Okay. Gonna go for it. Ha! 
<laughs> I just fall off and bounce. Was that me bouncing off it? Oh, it's soul comes for me. Hey, sir, go to set the stream straight. G'day. Another one dead. Oh, wow. Three taken. So was that after you killed three of them already? Like that was the third so, one? So, just... yeah, what I was going to say is after you kill a Colossi, you warp back to the temple and then there's a shadow standing over you and then you go and search the next Colossi. That's very ominous. The and music was also like very much foreboding and like watching it die was like, ah, uh, uh, epic, like. Yeah. yeah. So they have like epic battle music. Like when you find it, when the class is revealed, you work out the puzzle. Cause this is, a, this is literally a puzzle game to work out how to get how and to kill, kill the Colossi. Yeah. When you defeat it, these things, you know what it is? You just darkness comes out, you get teleported by the temple and then there's a shadow standing over you. And so does it ever repeat the instruction that you're meant to keep killing the Colossi? Because I feel like one bad jab of the dark stuff, maybe you should change your mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty, the the disembodied voice in this temple talks to you again and like oh, keep your next you. Colossi is this, shows you where like the, oh, the so totem keeps, is keeps and, like, you to, and yeah. it gives you a clue actually to where it is. Like, oh, it's, it's a turtle in the lake. <laughs> Whatever, it's near the lake or something like that. <laughs> or it's like Go some find the acorn uh, under the cat near the lake. Yeah. It is glowing. But, but that's the whole story. That's the whole loop. There's nothing there's nothing really more than that. Oh no side quests. There's no side quests. Oh. There's no other NPC. I know you like a good side quest. But what it does is it really immerses you because there's nothing else. Yeah. And like some games really fuck this up. They're like, oh there's nothing there. It's meant to be empty. It's like, yeah, it's just boring. But this game kind of captures you in the enormity of the environment and the colossi and just sort of intrigued you because of how the music is is, is told it's like the score is really like yeah battle 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 you take this thing down you're like ah oh. and he's like oh now there's shadows near me <laughs> wait this and, is some kind of morality lesson i don't understand and, you, and yeah you don't know why like we don't know who this person is why we're trying to bring them back and what the whole story is about so the is it actually hard to find the Colossi? Or is it actually fairly straightforward to get there? It can be hard to find the Colossi. Okay, well that's good. Okay. <coughs> Saying to go down. Aim for the bushes. <coughs> Holy drop! Okay, well, here's the thing. Video game logic. <laughs> okay, now nah, I'm positive. Video game logic means I will not die from this. You, everyone knows if you jump into water, no fall damage. I'm dead. <laughs> So not always obvious go. So like the thing with the the light beam, it it goes in a straight line. So yeah. like there can be obstacles in your way. And it doesn't give you it doesn't go directionally and up you, and down, it's just straight. It's as the bird flies. Yeah, you gotta work out how to like why there's nothing like crazy about like how to get to the next colossi. Um but there are some really nice vistas and like landscapes that you pass through, which is kinda now that I think about it, it's like kind of the experience to be like passing through this like forbidden land. There's no one else there. It's very like nice and glor pristine in this and forbidden there's, world. And there's no benefit to like exploring any runes or anything like that or like that chasm you there, dropped into. There was nothing. There is there is benefit for exploring. So you, you can find shrines and it gives you more stamina and it gives you health. 
Um, Why weren't you getting the strawberries? Uh, you know me, I don't like collecting stuff, so oh, I just no. don't really worry about yeah, it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, but the, once again, there were things in there that I wouldn't have even known. Like, chat spoiled it. They were like, oh, shoot the lizards. And like, on the shrines, it was like, these little lizards, like, crawling around. Yeah. I just thought it was this environment. And if you shoot them with your bow and then eat them, you get, like, a buffed... I think you get a buffed uh, stamina. Yeah. And then you, get, then you can get, like, more stamina. And the reason you need stamina is when you're climbing on the beast, they, like, try to shake you off and you have to hold on. Uh... And so you have, to, you, you have to work out how to get on them. That's like the puzzle. Then climb them and then they might shake you off. Uh, and so more stamina helps. But you can actually just like, I hardly collected anything and still pass the game. Like you can, you can not do it as well. But you know, I'd be out hunting lizards. You'd be hunting lizards, yeah. a bridge that does not I'll be honest that does not look structurally sound I'm not an engineer but for its length that does not look like enough girth I said like it, it, it emerges you merges immerses immerse emerges immerses you, you in emerge from something you immerse immerse yourself well, in something it look good it does look good that is it's a pretty spectacular bridge as well just like unusual so you don't this, even, this you is haven't like, even seen that in architecture in the so world this is know? like coming into the forbidden land and oh. leading to the temple. This is like one of the opening scenes. This is oh, like wow. entering forbidden this, yeah, the yeah. forbidden area. Yeah. That's and, beautiful. And the next scene I'm going to show you, you'll be used to because you, you're used to playing Zelda. Okay. R2 down. Oh, is that how you stop him? R2 up. Hell yeah, brother. The edge. It's an edge. <laughs> like I could see because I was up. Ooh. Okay, that was very cool. You cannot stand on your horse in Zelda or any other game I've played really, where there's like a central horse character. So like people would tell, like, n n of course, none of these controls are explained. Someone was in there. It was like, just hold. I come up the buttons. I hold R two and press forward, like uh, while you're riding. I'm like, what? And then it was like surfing him. And I think someone's like, I'm pretty sure you can like slip off the side and like ride on the side as well. You can also shoot your bow while you're like on the top. Cause you can obviously ride your horse like for yeah, some yeah, colossi. Yeah. yeah. That's very cool. And like the horse animations are so good. Like the camera like pans out, like as you gallop across these like huge fields and stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. It just has like this enormity to it. And this is, this is these are little shrines that are like around that uh... you can, Okay. They also give you like a checkpoint. You can collect stuff at them. Like to the point of like not wanting to play it. <laughs> so now oh my God, that's all you did at the shrine? You just now <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what you do at the shrine. No, that's all you did at the shrine. That's not apparently all oh, the shrine yeah, I didn't, to offer. I, I honestly didn't even bother to like oh, check for the lizards. So painful. Okay. Well, but the thing is, I was on a schedule. Yeah, and I needed, you had a and day. Like, you had a day. But also, that's how you play video games. Yeah, I never do the side you quests. Do the side I never quests. do the collecting. And you hate me when I do the side quests, and the side quests are the best. And I think maybe that's why I like this game. It's like, I don't know. It was like the simplicity of the story and the environment storytelling with the music i was like this is i, I want to see where this goes it I seems very see cinematic happens. in the way that it's been done yeah like the shots and everything uh, and the score all of it's yeah, about it's, the story it's, it's artwork art now i will show you a couple of the colossi 
and this people lose their minds like everyone who's played this game has like a favorite colossi oh, like because yeah. there's six there's 16 of them oh there's like a lot oh i thought there was only like four no there's like 16 colossi oh geez and okay. so there's like it's like, it's like 16 puzzles to solve yeah and they all you know yeah, they're, they're pretty unique and they're, they're unique in the, the size the design and the puzzle solving capacity so like when i was playing the game people were literally sticking around like okay I'm leaving after this colossi because it's my favorite. Like oh, people wow. have like a favorite. So I'll okay. show you, I'll show you an epic one. I think it was, was a really cool one. It's not really like a, it's not a hard puzzle, but this sort of shows you like how it varies. Target. Am I leading the target? <laughs> that one is for sure. Hits. Oh, I think I defied this. The the fight of the nuts. I milked them. <laughs> gotta catch up. We gotta get in front. We get in front. Oh, it's kind of pretty. Get the target. Get the target. Got. Hit. Hit. I've, de I've, de I've deflated him. I think he's going down. I almost got a roach. Come here! Move alongside it! Move alongside it! Now! Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll take it back. I'm sorry, I haven't been charging Max. Yeah, I haven't been charging Max. I They're so different. I thought that they were all like tall kind of no dudes. they i'm sure there's like some director's comment they like take after different things like one one looks like a boar this obviously is like some sort of like there's like a insect dragon yeah thing. it looks like an insect dragon thing there's like a sand serpent i'm sure someone was trying to because there's no name in the game like they're, they're not named but like people oh. had names for them i think do, there's do like they a, like proceed in order so like this is class line number five or whatever or yeah if you if you go in order of like the totems but i'm pretty sure i asked chat and you can you can actually go in any order oh but you'd have to know where they are so that's the thing is like oh. there's another no way to like okay yeah, know yeah. how to find them without using your sword but if once you know where they are i think you could just like beeline it to whichever one you want to do Obviously, this one. This is like a very simple puzzle. You had to like use your bow and arrow to shoot the balloons. Sh shoot the balloons. Fall. It drops yeah. down. Then you, to, then you actually climbed uh, the fins. And I wasn't very good at that. The thing here, and this is people like just triggered people. Like, so you got to find the weak spot. So yeah. you got to climb them. That's where you need the stamina. You got to hold yeah, on, okay. work with the weak spot. But then there's like when you stab, you like press square, and then it like charges up, and then you press it again to stab. It just tells you like the longer you hold it, the more damage it does. It doesn't tell you there's like actually an indicator for like how long, like the perfect timing that you should be doing. Mm -hmm. So I was just I was just looking at his hand and like guessing. Yeah. And then like after eight hours, someone's like, Can somebody please tell him how to play the fucking game? <laughs> Can someone play and and I'll show you. The bottom right hand corner is a stamina bar. It, it is a stamina bar. Yeah. But there's like this tiny little white thing emanates and that shows you like how long you can hold on to it for oh. but the other thing is if you hold on for too long you then the grip? yeah no well the beast could shake the cloth i could yeah. shake and you fly off so it's like yeah. time working out like what's the most optimal way to, to stabby stab i'll be going i'll be going there i haven't been going all the way all the way Even just like not even having targeting. No. I go! He's on the wing! He's on the wing! I go! 
I have opposable thumbs. I fucking climbed the, 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 the monster. You be a horse. Where? Amazing horse animation. That stop. Oh, Very oh yeah, good. all the horse Very animations. Very good. That's yeah. like, yeah, you don't often see horses stop yeah. like that as they would in, yeah. in real life. Yeah. Um, you that, could you could almost not yeah I don't like on this resolution because it's like from stream you almost couldn't even see. Well, I did a test. I was like watching the main where you would if you were playing the game yeah. to see if out the corner of my eye I noticed it and you wouldn't. Yeah. Like yeah. you'd have to be looking for something that showed you when the timing was. Otherwise, you'd just be trying to do it intuitively yeah. based on. Yeah. So that's yeah. the thing. I was just focusing on him when his hand yeah, came up and yeah, then stabbing yeah. down. But you can also see how much health it chunks off as well. If you do it really well. Yeah. If you get like a good hit. So that was just one. I'm going to show you one other cloth side. Just to show you like the difference in puzzle solving and like dimensions of them. I think this one's like a, like a boar. Yeah. Where? Where? You know, you know, I, it, it sometimes gets me angry, but when you solve it, I do appreciate it. The, the subtleties in this game, like, you know how some games like, oh, this is, this is a climbable service. So we're going to paint it red. So, you know, it's climbable. This game's like, nah, every texture is going to look fucking exactly the same. You want to work out if you can climb it, jump at it. Oh! Jump! Dead! <laughs> Bruh, I, I got me in rubble! Help! Don't die! So different again, so tiny! <laughs> that one was really. Did chat help you figure out where no, the main no, spot no. was? Because no. that's. I could not see anything. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You didn't see the weak spot then. That was like a puzzle to try and make a weak spot. So once you knock down... So what you had to oh, do... Oh, it knocks it on. You're it. in this area. A lot of them like environmental puzzles. Well, sometimes they're environmental puzzles. Sometimes they're not. This one was like... You had to... You couldn't just jump on those pillars at the beginning. Like they were out of reach. You had to like get on the right entry point. Like with a low pillar. Work your way around. And then you had to like domino them all down. So you had to get on one, he would knock it. He goes, you then you jump off, get on the next one. He would knock it. And you keep doing that until you get to that wall. And then inside there, there was like a pillar that you could also trigger him to knock down. And it would like knock his armor off and then you could kill it. Whoa. So you had also to do- hashtag spoilers. Well, like I said, you got 16, you got 14 yeah, yeah, left. Yeah. I mean- That's very elaborate, but very cool. Yeah. And like I said in the thing, like, there's no, there's no like obvious sign that you can climb stuff. Do you know yeah, like some, some guys have like yeah, the red yeah, painting yeah. and whatever, like, or hey, like, yeah, it's or like, like a little. Clearly doesn't, like it looks like it's gonna move, right? Like yeah. everything else looks very static. And then suddenly it's something that's like a definitely yeah. a different color and it's got some weird writing on it. Now I was told that the original, so what this game does is like, if you taking ages to solve it, it kind of starts backseating you. And like that disembodied voice gives you a clue. But sometimes the clues are really bad and like doesn't help. You're like, yeah, no shit. I know what I need to do. It's like the weak spot. It's a bit the close. Like, yeah, I know. I can't work it out. And then other times it's really helpful. And other times, yeah, it sends you on the wrong, like a wild goose chase. But I think people were getting stuck. Like, I think they added that because people were getting stuck on puzzles. And then not coming back and, to the game. Like and people were, were so I, I don't, I think someone was telling me it wasn't in the original to have the disembodied, disembodied like voice, yeah. give you a hint, and then like added it. Um, After yeah. mm. Now, I do have footage of the end boss, but I feel like I've convinced you to play this game now and you might want to work it out. Mm. Tricky, keep going. So anyway, the end boss is actually my least favorite Colossi. It was probably oh, the, I heard you getting super angry at I, it. It was the only time I yelled. I had such a fantastic time in this in this game. The camera is easily the only and the worst thing about this game. The camera control 
is like you are, you just feel like you're fighting the camera and you all it, it is like it's like going surfing and getting dumped by a wave you just don't fight it and you just have to try to let the camera work itself out yeah otherwise it's it, it can be pretty horrendous and the last boss was particularly bad with it and um also i feel like the last boss you know it's like an escape room yeah and you know like you know yeah i've got to i know i've got this clue and i need to get there but it, like the puzzle makers have just gone a little bit too obscure and like you, there's like that missing link to like chain the thought yeah, together yeah, yeah. it's a bit like that and the final boss like it doesn't carry over everything you've learned from all the cloth and it does have like a unique mechanic that the other cloth i didn't have that i, pro I actually just i wouldn't have got if I, I, there was just the out. only boss yeah. that that chat had to help me with yeah okay so maybe i don't maybe i don't show you and you work it out or do you want to see it now oh, I want to see it though. okay i'll forget I'll, i'm sure i'll forget he won't stop shaking if i let go i'm just gonna fall off from here? How do you shoot from here? Okay, but that's not... That's so weird! That's not even a mechanic in the game! Until now! Oh, I, so I do remember you getting angry about it and then like somebody telling you and then you yelling about a game mechanic. That is obscure as well. Like there's not often an instance where you stab somebody and they level out. So th th that was exactly my issue was, so other Colossi, you definitely shoot stuff that's not glowing. So for example, the the flying one they showed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's it's it's Matt's it's yeah. issue and, and it goes down. It's got bubbles. And there's other the bubbles. Yeah. And, it's and there's, there's other ones where you shoot stuff to like get axes, but Throughout the entire game before that, the only thing you stab that does anything is the is is glowing weak spots. Mm -hmm. You never stab anything else. Yeah. And this one, everything was like the camera angle was 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 rubbish. But um, when you get on that hand, you have to stab it so it levels out so you can shoot shoot a weak spot with an arrow. Yeah, I just it's not. It's just not a rational behavior either. Do you know what I mean? Like, you think down he, the he armor. would like wave it around more, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and the armor of the like the pig one, right? Like, you've played video games before where you knock down the environment and it shatters heavy armor because something heavy shatters mm. heavy armor. You never stab a hand and somebody goes. But anyway, I don't even like talk That's about it too much because I still love the game. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. It still looks and you could argue, oh, it's the final boss. Like, it should be different. It should be hard. But yeah. I feel like back in the day, this is 1,000% the boss that you go to school on Monday morning and I can't beat it. How do you beat it? And there's no internet. You can't look it up. You're like, Dan, can you go to work and use the internet to, like, look up how Google to beat this boss. Yeah, how to beat this boss. Yeah, man. Before the internet, it was wild days, wild days. Nah, don't care. Don't care about this guy at all. Other, every other Colossi 
Beautiful beasts. Love them, care for them, kill them. The, this kind of theme of this game, it kind of builds up as you become more attached to like this environment and how pretty everything and how majestic everything is. How you go from this like epic battle music to just like sad death music. Yeah. And like these shadows around you, you really do truly like, I'm the bad guy here. I gotta be. And I don't know if there's like developer commentary I don't know if it's like a metaphor for like killing the environment because it all the only thing I could think of when I was playing was like this is so selfish like I don't even know who this lady is but like killing all these you know, like, incredible beasts to bring like a single person back and there's mm. like six there's a lot of them there's like 16 of them yeah that's a lot so I've put together a sadness montage for you <laughs> okay <laughs> oh wow he's really fighting it yeah Brother needs to take some swimming lessons. You would not survive in Australia, dude, with paddling like that. Oh, here it comes. Uh oh. I'm in the water. Uh oh. That was a very heartbreaking death. Oh, right. Like, <laughs> the way it just like crumples into the It's something about wall. bird and like that like, yeah. oh. and then they like yeah, plummet, you know? Yeah, true. Like, like it got a... shot with an arrow kind of deal. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's an arrow through the heart and an epic fall. Yeah. Yeah, that made you feel bad. And the further you are, so those little shadow things come out. And like if you're right on it, it just hits you straight away. But if you're further, you know, you get that where it like works its way towards you. So like it doesn't matter where you are, like they track you and you yeah. can't outrun them. But obviously like I was I fell off the bird, so I was really far away, so you get to like see it. Because it repeats at every time, we ended up like it's just the, it gives you that moment of like regret. Like when the shadows cut. It also cut, changes like, the like, dynamic where you become the thing that's being attacked. Oh, you're being hunted that's good. Yeah. by the black shadows. Yeah. And un are unable to escape them regardless. Yeah. We, we just call it regret. Like, it's post nut regret. So, we should talk about the real hero. Because, okay. like I said, Is there's me there's, there's, for letting <laughs> you play video games all day. <laughs> True. Uh, it is the horse. I think oh. the best horse in video game history. Oof. I think it's better than Roach. I think it's better whatever whatever dog shit that Link rides. Oh, uh, Zelda, Zelda, Link doesn't have like a one horse. Good. It's just like go find a horse and like call it whatever you want. Saying it's better than Roach though is pretty... <sighs> Although I Roach is also not the same horse that he just always calls his horse Roach. <laughs> Look at you with the law. <laughs> I've got the law. I've got the law. Uh, it's so good. And the thing is like it is your companion throughout this story. There's no one else to talk to. And it's the only thing that you talk to too. You can call your horse. His name's um, Agro, A-G-R-O. But because of like the accent, it sounds like egg roll. So Chow will always say, egg roll, <laughs> egg roll. Egg roll. <laughs> egg roll. Cute uh, name. But they do something pretty true. I, I, I can show you this, even though I think you're gonna play it because you walked in and actually saw this anyway. Oh, yeah. So this I is a see. this is a spoiler, yeah, but did. Okay, you did yeah, see this already because yes. you walked in when I was playing it. Yeah, and it was very sad. Here it is. Oh, do you reckon I need the oars? Oh, I'll go. Come here. I need you. <laughs> Quick. Yeah, good boy. You know what's up. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. I do need you for this. Up the stairs. Yeah. Oh, he knows. Yeah, get some speed, brother. Send yeah. it. Yeah. 
I said send it. Yeah. Yeah. Aggro, send it. Oh. Don't you fucking do this. Dramatic is it? It just comes out of nowhere as well. Yes. Like you just completely like try to jump across the bridge. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm I'm not fast enough, so I better I'm meant, I'm meant to use the horse, right? And then just cut scene. Horse dead. I know, and it it, it nobody had spoiled for it spoiled it for me. It was just Ooh. a complete shock, and and at that oh, point, I okay. knew I knew why egg roll was like beloved. Yeah. Because like, firstly, like the horse animations are just like the best. They're so good. Well, I remember like the next scene, he, like at the very yeah. end. He's, yeah. he's, your, he's your only companion. It's the only word that you say in the game. And then oh. they take it away from you. Egg roll. Egg roll. <laughs> so the super interesting thing about this game, I still don't understand the ending. And it does have a plot twist. And once again, the reason we came up with this segment when you're talking to Danny is I think I was talking to you about the ending. Yeah. I thought, you know what, this is straight up content. This is how I should be doing like games, is like explaining them to Danny. And yeah, so I told you, right? I did tell you the ending. Do you remember? I kind of remember. You did tell me, but I kind of remember. I don't 100% remember. Okay, so if, if you have not played this and you think you're going to play it, well, then this is the time to leave. Spoiler alert from a game from 2005. So... It turns out that you stole the sword. This, this, you know, group of people follow your trail. They also enter the temple. They look, they look like some sort of guardians, um, you know, of some sacred, you know, I don't know, protectors of the forbidden, the, the, the forbidden land, right? Yeah, yeah. You turn into a colossi because, yeah. and you get to play from the point of view of a colossi, which is crazy because the shadows that were coming out i'm pretty sure were like a whole crux they were like the souls of this entrapped like evil being there and they had been put into the colossi to be like separated and protected so you killed all the colossi and you regathered the whole crux yeah, and it yeah, yeah. took over your body and you become this giant shadow colossi and you like kill um try to kill these these protectors they throw you know they throw a sword they, they steal your sword they throw it into that well at the very beginning of the map and it like makes this um suction portal that sucks you into it and then they blow the bridge on the way out and they and they like seal it off forever like sealing you in there i guess and then the lady wakes up yes egg roll comes back yeah that's a bit that I, yeah and then where you got sucked in she finds like a demon baby Yes, yeah, so I didn't get to see that bit, but you told me about it. Satan. Oh, the horse. Mum talking about the horse. That's just so not an ending. Like, this is no kinda, answer. I kind of love that. it, though. But it just makes zero sense. Like to this. So Welcome just... to Japan. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's a Japanese student that made this. It... And then she carries it to the top, and it's like life returning. Like the, the kids, like, go, oh, who, who's a princess that can talk to animals? Like all the animals return to Snow it. Snow White. She seems like Snow White. And then Chad said, "Oh, if you collect all the collectibles, you can climb to the top of the the tower, the temple. If you get all your sta if you get max stamina upgrade, you can go to where the end scene is." I mean, like, do you have any theories about what it means? I don't know. I need to, like, leave. I, I don't know. Like, the, the whole, I mean, that's not how Horcruxes work. But the idea that there is some evil entity that is fragmented into many pieces and kept in this forbidden land as a way of trapping it forever so that it doesn't destroy anything. And then you inadvertently free it and it possesses you and you therefore yeah. become evil. We That's all 
That makes sense. We can follow that. Like yeah. that can make make sense, but it doesn't explain why she wakes up because of it. <clears throat> we don't even know who she is. Or who she, yeah, or who she's in relationship, other than that you're trying to save her. But it also doesn't completely make sense because the Colossi, you feel bad for them, right? So like it doesn't really suggest that they're evil. No, I don't think the Col- I don't think the Colossi are evil. I think they were like you think intended, they're guardians, they're guardians of the, of the, the darkness of, yeah. that they've helped inside yeah. themselves. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know what why would you going through a portal wake her up? So this is where the portal, like the black hole thing was. No, I just think the timing was her soul was restored. As you were getting But she just, in. you know, yeah. passing trains. She just happened to wake up. Yeah. So we, right, never, get right, to, right. we never get to see them interact. Mm. I mean, babies represent rebirth, but why demon baby? Well, is it is that the evil entity now? Like when you got sucked through the portal, did you get sucked through, but the evil that you freed that became one was left behind and entered this baby. And she obviously doesn't know that. And she's just found a baby. Maybe this is her chance to like raise a good demon. (laughs) Do you know? Nature versus nurture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. God damn. I, I need like some director's comment. They never made another one. I, I, there's That's no, very It just disappointing. ends on that. They made other cool games though. Okay, so. but you want your story. You want your story. Although people sometimes write themselves into a corner and they just don't have answers to things and then they just kind of leave it as, I don't know, and you can decide for yourself because it's easier. <laughs> I kind of like that sometimes too. Yeah, it's, it can be good. It can be good. So, like I said, game-changing, life-changing, really fantastic experience. I think you'll like it for the puzzles. Yeah. And the epicness. Yeah, it's it's dull, it's really. a short game. It's not like you're gonna put a hundred hours into it. Mm-hmm. And now when you go to Le Party, and you say you play video games, you say, "Have you heard of Shadow of the Colossus from 2005?" Yeah, because that's topical. <laughs> uh, uh, if you would like to suggest what game I play next, join our Discord. I'll put a link below. Join the Twitch streams. I do it all live over on Twitch. Uh, we've got. I've got a lot recorded. We've got a lot more games coming inbound. So like and comment will be appreciated. We'll see you next time. Peace.